Good morning. So today we are doing lesson 24. We're on page 221. 221. You can press pause while you find that page. Okay. And it looks like there's a lot going on on this page today. So we have 43 plus 25. So what we are going to do, just like we always do, let's make our T-chart and break that into tens and ones. Okay, we'll do that for here too. We have our tens and our ones. So if we have the number 43, we can put that in as our own total, right? So here we have 43. 43 is the whole, and we're gonna break that apart into expanded form. So 43 can be broken into tens and ones, just like we did here. Four tens and three ones. But if we have four tens, we need to count by tens, okay? So if we have four tens, let's count. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. What's that value? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. So I can't write four right here because four plus three is seven. That is not a total of 43, okay? We have 40 plus three. Now we're going to put 25 right here. Can you hear, am I not recording? Oh, can you hear that noise? That's my dog, Gabby. She's trying to get in the middle of my video, silly dog. So if I have 25, break it into place value, I have two tens and five ones. What's the value of two tens? Let's count by tens. 10, 20. The value is 20. I can't write two. So I have 20 plus five. Okay? So this looks similar, right? Here I have 40 and here I have 40. Here I have three, here I have three. So it's just a different way of looking at it in the expanded form. Here I have 20 and five. So this is my whole, 40 is my part, and three is my part. 25 is my whole, 20 is my part, and five is my part. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a part, plus a part, plus a part, plus a part, and put them together and make one whole, right? Because our whole is everything together. We're gonna to put 43 and 25 to make that new whole, right? Okay, so if we have 40 plus three, that means we have 10, 20, 30, 40, plus three ones, one, one, two ones, three ones, and then I have 20, let's count by tens, 10, 20, and how many ones? Five ones, one, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones. So now we're gonna put our tens together, okay? So I'm gonna make this carrot, and I have four tens plus two tens. What is four plus two? Six, right, so what is 40 plus 20, 60, good job. So I need to put 60, 60 and, now I'm gonna put my ones together. I have three ones and five ones, what's three plus five? Eight, right? Three plus five is eight. So now what is 60 plus eight? We're gonna take that expanded form and put it back together 60 plus eight is, standard form, 68. Now let's look at it here. We had 40 plus three. Let's look at our tens. 40 plus 20 is 60. Three plus five is eight. 60 plus eight is 68. So 43 plus 25 is 68. All right. So we're moving on to our last problem for this. For right now, we have 11 plus 58. Remember, we always want to check and divide out. I do not want to use that color. I'm going to divide my number by its place value, right? 
I have my tens and my ones. I have my tens and my ones. I have 11. So what is 11 in expanded form? 10 plus one, right? So I have 10 plus one. Now I have 58. What's 58 in expanded form? 50 plus 8, right? 50 plus 8. Okay? Let's put those same numbers on this side. If I have 11, what did we say 11 is in expanded form? 10 plus 1, right? So we have 10 plus 1. What is 58 in expanded form? 58 is 50 plus 8. Good. 50 plus 8. Now we're going to add those together. We're going to put our 10s together. So if I have 10 and 50, I'm going to draw those out. Here I have 10. How do I draw 10? Am I going to make 10 tens? No, I only have one 10, right? So I'm going to draw one 10 plus 50. Am I going to draw 50 tens? No, that would be 500. That's silly. I'm going to draw counting by tens up to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I have 50, and that looks like five tens. So one plus five is six. So 10 plus 50 is, whoops, 60. Okay? Here I have one one and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, new line, six, seven, eight. So it's one plus eight or eight plus one, remember? One plus eight, eight plus one. The answer is the same no matter what you do, mix it up. So one plus eight is nine. So 60 plus nine equals 69. Let's see if we get the same answer over here. Let's add our ones. How many ones do we have? One plus eight is nine. 10 plus 50 is 60. 60 plus 9 is 69, so 11 plus 58 is 69. Good job.